Yes, people, what's going on? Welcome back to the channel. Hope you guys are doing well. So yesterday, Manchester United lifted their first trophy in Eric Ten Hag's reign. And our first trophy since 2017, May 2017, when Manchester United lifted that Europa League trophy in Stockholm. That's if you're not counting the Bangkok Century Cup, which we lifted in the summer by beating Liverpool. And what a day it was at Wembley. Uh, last night I'm still recovering from it my shins are battered and bruised and bleeding uh, and my voice is gone but it was an amazing day and hopefully a day that we can have all over again United still playing in um, the Europa League and of course in the FA Cup our next games in the FA Cup against West Ham and we'll have to guard against complacency and against potential hangovers in that game but massive massive day for Eric Ten Hag's Reds looking at all the videos looking at all the pictures after the game you sense this is the start of something and you hear it in Eric Ten Hag's press conference, in his aftermatch speeches um, and in the letter that he's written Manchester United fans, which we're going to get stuck into in this video as well, um, that this for him needs to be the start. Um, it needs to be the foundations for plenty more success and it needs to be the trophy that we build further success upon. This can't be the be all and end all. You know what I mean? If, if we've only won a Carabao Cup, and in the next two or three years, that's all you've won. Ultimately, it's been a failure. We learned from that, you know, in Jose Mourinho's time, you have to build upon that success and you have to build upon it moving forward. But his confidence will do that because the more I hear Eric Ten Hag speak, the more I see his actions, you know, the look at some of the big decisions that he's made at the club. We don't need to go into them. The Maguire, Ronaldo, the Garnacho one in the summer, the Rashford one in terms of his lateness. You know, when you, when you look at all his decisions that he makes on and off the pitch, transfer decisions, etc. You see a man that's in control. You see a man that knows what he's doing. And you see a man that's moving the club in the right direction. And if he has the players that follow him and he has the backing from the board, whoever that board is, when we get new owners or not, I have no doubt that this is just a start and it will go on to greater things. And it could go on to greater things this season. As I said, we're still competing for plenty of trophies. And you look at that team yesterday you know, we love that. This is a team that, you know, we start a lot of players. You're thinking, are they even going to be here anymore? What's their future? Um, what club they're going to next? And you look at not only the signings that he made, bringing in the likes of Casemiro, Lissandro Martinez, who have just taken to the club. The fans have taken to them immediately and they're a huge part of the success and the winning mentality of this team. But the way he's got the likes of Rafael Varane, who was at the club, Luke Shaw, you know, Wamba Saka. Diogo Dolo, Marcus Rashford, you know, and plenty more players that I haven't named there. The way he's got them performing as well. He's improved what he had, but he's also brought in signings that have improved what we've got and brought the right mentality, the right qualities to the team that we need. We still need plenty of players. We still need to improve the squad. He'll know that. The team will know that. Hopefully the board know that, whoever that board is. Um, and they give him the backing and the support that he needs because... This guy is the truth. But let's get stuck into his letter to Manchester United fans. He says, to all Man United supporters, I want to take the time to address you directly this morning. When I arrived at the club, we spoke about the challenge and importance of reuniting this group of players with our amazing fans. Believe me, this squad knows exactly how important you are. The bond between the supporters and the team is there for everyone to see. And what we experienced together yesterday will only further strengthen that bond. The atmosphere generated by those of you at Wembley was incredible. From the first minute until the last, you were there with us, driving the team on, supporting and encouraging them to get over the line and bring the trophy back to Manchester. For those of you who couldn't be there, we felt your support before, during and after. Know that each and every one of you will always play your part in this team being successful. I'm proud of my players and of my staff for their preparation and performances. Yesterday, we saw the required desire spirit and determination that we must demand of everyone who represents Man United. We set ourselves high standards every day. At Wembley we met those demands and got the reward of our first trophy together. We know the importance of silverware throughout the history of this great club. We are so happy to bring back the trophy to Old Trafford but we are by no means satisfied and we will not stop here. Together we have experienced the feelings of what it means to win together for United. It is truly magnificent and will only make each of us hungrier for more success. This group has made great strides in the last few months, but there's still a lot more to come. Um, I can assure you that everyone at Carrington will be working constantly because we know that this club and you, our supporters, deserve more great days like this. We will go back to work today, 
So no rest for the wicked. With full focus now on preparing to face West Ham in the FA Cup on Wednesday, there will be no complacency in our desire to return this club back to where we want to be. Please know that you are vital to what we want to achieve and take yesterday as proof of what can happen when we are all united together. Thank you for your support and dedication, Eric Ten Hag. And that letter is not only you know, thanking the supporters for their support so far, being at Wembley, etc., etc., but also a rallying cry, I think, to his players, to his staff, to the team, that this isn't the, the, the end, this is the start. And hopefully he can build success. I watched his interview after the game, his post-match press conference, and he said, I love Manchester United and this is the job for me. This is where I want to be. I want to build on the legacy and the history of this great club and create my own history and legacy. And this is why this feels a little bit different with Eric Ten Hag now. Still a long way to go. Still plenty to prove. But we have got the right manager. I wouldn't swap this guy for anybody, you know. I would not swap Eric Ten Hag for anybody. Bold is best, quite clearly. Um, another thing as well, which I noticed yesterday, Steve McLaren. Now, he's obviously won the League Cup as a manager for Middlesbrough. But as assistant manager, he's now won the lot. He's got the set. He's won the Premier League, Champions League and the FA Cup as Sir Alex Ferguson's assistant. And he's now won the League Cup as Eric Ten Hag's assistant. Hopefully he can complete the set as Eric Ten Hag's assistant. But I thought that was just an interesting nugget to take. All those years in between and Steve McLaren has completed the set as a Manchester United assistant manager. Um, that picture with Fergie and Ten Hag yesterday as well. Fergie waiting for Ten Hag to, to meet him in the tunnel. I thought that was amazing. Uh, Ferg is absolutely enjoying things as well. It's great that, you know, with the way his health was over the last couple of years, that we've been able to see him around the club a little bit more, see him in a, a more healthy spirit and getting him to see um, great football from Manchester United and lifting trophies. It's so good to see. And Sir Alex Ferguson looked like a proud father as he saw Eric Ten Hag walk towards him um, in that tunnel. Oh, man, absolutely amazing. Love Ten Hag. Love last night. Uh, Love yesterday at Wembley. What a day it was. Um, my shin didn't love it. Still bleeding, I think. But um, yeah, man, what a day. What a day. And long mate, continue. I love the FA Cup. I really want us to beat West Ham. We got Betis in the in the Europa League. Big opportunity for us having put Barcelona out to go on and potentially win that competition. Um, and whilst I don't think we're in a title race, there's no reason why we can't go on to uh, strengthen our position in that top three. And who knows, maybe finish second or something. And, and that would be a huge season. So uh, plenty more to fight for for United, but a great day at Wembley yesterday and, and lovely to see Ten Hag's letter today. Let us know your thoughts in the comments below. Make sure you're keeping it locked. Like, comment, share, subscribe. Until next time, I've been Adam McCola. I'm out of here.